Let's have a look at the uh, solo to battery and I'm gonna <laughs> tell you right away that a lot of the uh, <laughs> large parts of the solos are totally inaudible to me. I mean, uh, it's not really clear what he's playing there and it's mostly because of all this wah wah effect that he likes to put <laughs> put on uh, many of his solos. Uh, but on the other hand, uh, no, it opens up for some improvisation <laughs> and uh, uh, on your part, uh, but okay, let's start from the beginning. So, uh, the first two bars here, uh, so you're gonna have those little bluesy bands on 14th fret on G and B, uh, bar across the both strings, and uh, put your other fingers on the other frets like this, and uh, basically strike those two strings and bend them downwards, okay? So, okay, so again. And uh, yeah, that little melody here is kind of, uh, it feels kind of offbeat and well, it is kind of offbeat, so it kind of may be a bit tricky rhythmically first to learn it, but you know, shake it slowly at first and uh, you know, either you know, read the notes uh, or slow down the recording if you want to kind of learn it by ear. Uh, anyway, so in the next two bars, bar three and four, and this is the part where it's you know, kind of inaudible, you can't really tell what he's playing there, but it's, I'm pretty sure it's based among those, among those kinds of licks that he likes to play. Uh, so uh, basically it is, you're gonna, uh, play your middle finger on 14th fret on G and then you're gonna play 12 and 15th frets on B with your index and ring fingers, okay? So, and basically... Yeah, something like this, so you play it slowly, okay? And faster. Right? And as you know, uh, you know, a lot of wawa, if you want to reproduce <laughs> his playing as much as possible, then you know, put on a bunch of wah and kind of get it. you're gonna get the sound that you're looking for. Um, then in the second uh, line, you're gonna start with this gradual bend on 15th fret on E. Okay, and uh, I played those first two bars now, so Again, the first bar, slow gradual bend, one and a half step from 15 on high E. And then in the second bar, okay, yeah, we have something like this, I think. Uh, so at the end of the second bar, it's like a uh, quick pentatonic click like that. And then he goes into this bluesy lick again. That's bar three and four. And yeah, and uh, you know, and again, you know, it's hard to hear what he's playing. It might be that he is kind of, you know, throwing some kind of double drills instead of single drills. Uh, but you know, <laughs> it's hard to hear, and again, you know, feel free to improvise over that like instead of trying to learn everything note by note. Right. Uh, right, so that's the first part. Most of it inaudible, but I think it's something like that. And uh, uh, the next part here, uh, and it's another part that's kind of hard to hear what he's playing, 
uh, hear it the first time, but I'm pretty sure there's something like along those lines. Okay, uh, so uh, a lot of uh, pull offs for two and open G, like that, and uh, and after that, after those first two bars, you're gonna have like a quick kind of ascending and kind of random, you know. Uh, ascending, uh, I, I don't know what to call it, pull off lick, <laughs> pull off to open G lick. Uh, uh, and then at the end of this, at the end of the line, we're gonna have a quick 12 on high E, and that will lead us into this melodic part, which actually you can hear what he's playing, so it's pretty good, <laughs> finally. Uh, so Yeah, and uh, that melody is kind of, uh, in the beginning, it's kind of hard to get the rhythm of it, but, you know, if you play it a few times slowly, you will, uh, I think you will get it uh, after a, a couple of times. So, if you play it slowly, and you're gonna start on 4 end beat, okay, with, with the 12th fret on high E. So, 1, 2, 3, 4... Okay, and note that he is palm muting a lot of those notes here in the in the stick, um, and you have the palm muting marks above the tab that have carefully put up put out in the tab after listening through this lick a million times. Uh, <laughs> okay, so that's the uh, second part of the solo, and the final part, um, the first time, it's kind of based on B minor uh, B minor pentatonic lick. Okay, so again, slide in from 7 to 9, and then 7 7 on G and B, and then bend 10 fret on B and release and put, uh, put off to 8, like this. Okay, that's the first bar. And then in the second bar, and I'm, I'm not gonna read you the fret numbers from now on because you don't have it here, but, but the second bar... Right? Yeah, and that, yeah, that's the first uh, line, by the way. Oh, and uh, note that there's a lot of, you know, bending and slides and uh, kind of quick drills. And kind of sliding in. Uh, and they kind of add to the articulation of the melody, okay? So they are quite important. Then in the second line... We're gonna have this little lick, so... Uh, so what we're doing here is kind of starting off the same way as we started the first time, but now we're playing in the E minor pentatonic. And then we're gonna have this, yeah, pull off, 15 to 12 and 14 on G. And then in the second bar, we have this, and basically 12 on B and then 15, bend it. And after that, you're gonna have this quick, you know, pull off from 15 to 12 twice, right? So again, slowly, the whole thing. Alright, and the final uh, two bars. Um, yeah, and that's the part that really took me a while to get into. And I'm not sure if it's correct, but it's... I tried, to, you know, obviously, to listen to the recording at slow speed a few times. And I looked at his live performances. Uh, what he is doing with his left hand here, and I kind of came up with, with this, so it's... Uh, yeah, whatever that <laughs> is supposed to be. Uh, so, 
but you know, feel free to improvise a little bit here because it's uh, really hard to hear what he's playing here. But. Yeah, and I think I play like different notes every time I play, so it's. Okay, so again, so the. Right, right, and uh, yeah, have fun with that. <laughs> uh, again, a lot of things, a lot of parts in the solo are hard to hear, hard to transcribe. So you know, feel free to improvise a little bit here. Uh, but yeah, that will be the guitar solo to battery. Good luck with that.